it's Roxy Whitney here, your favorite Rocket City Realtor, and today I'm here with my favorite home inspector. Kelsey Smith, Alabama Home Inspections, and I hope to be your favorite home inspector. But you're checking the sealant around all of the exposed nails, because realistically, water is going to get into your house at any point that it can. And once water gets in, it does the same thing it does out on the dirt. It starts making a bigger hole. You check the, uh, the sealant around any of the fasteners or nails, of the, all of the main joints, where you see that you have a higher volume of water. You check there for all of the flashing and all the sealants. You know, obviously I was just up in the attic. There's no water damage up in the attic. We go in the attic first to tell us where we're gonna fall through the roof or where we might have an issue before we go up on the roof. And in this case, we're using a drone to do some of the roof, roof work for ourselves, uh, but we'll still walk it just to make sure everything looks the same. On an older roof, or the way we kind of look at roofs is you kind of do forensic science, like CSI, is, you know, a sealant is going to last about three years, three to five years, depending on the type of sealant they use. If that's not there, you know the roof's at least three to five years old. The next thing you're, you're starting to look at is how much of the sand or the granules remain on the roof and that you start to see that start to come off at about the five to eight year mark and then your plumbing boots where all of the vents for all of your toilets and everything go through the house you'll see the plumbing boots start to dry rot because they're sitting out in that uv sunlight they'll dry rot right around the 10 to 12 year mark and so our intent is the roof's absolutely fine but if you go up and replace your sealant or go up and replace your plumbing boots you can make this 10 year old roof work just like new and not have to worry about and that's really where the value of a home inspector is. We're looking for any granules that are starting to come off. This house is less than six months old, so we don't see anywhere. But on a typical home, at about the 10 year mark, you'll start to see where the granules have come off and they end up in the gutter, which clogs the gutter, but you start to see the, the fiberglass through the, uh, through the asphalt, especially where people have walked. So that's, that's how we're checking them based on age to see how, how the roof is holding up. The other thing we're looking at, and I'm not gonna mess up his roof here, but right here under the edge is a little, is a little line of tar and the tar holds it down to the next, the next roofing shingle, but we don't want to see any nails below this line. Otherwise, we create some place where we're going to have a leak later. Now, you can't see it because you're down there and I'm up here. We have a patch right here. This is called a ridge cap, and this ridge cap obviously went on late because it doesn't have sealant on it. So we'll take a picture of that. It probably takes a builder or a roofer five minutes with some mastic to come up here and cover those but that's just one opportunity for a leak on a brand new the plastic house. is probably going to last forever um you know it'll be choking out dolphins or whatever sometime in the future <laughs> but the rubber grommet that sits up on the top we want to look at this and again once it's a brand new house but we're going to take a look at this especially between the eight year and the 12 year mark because it's gonna to start to dry rot up around this edge. Most sea active water leaks in, an, in a roof is gonna happen right here at this junction. Um, but literally, they, I think they cost 12 bucks for a plumbing boot. So you can repair a leak in your roof for 12 bucks. It's a matter of come up, pull this thing off, watch a lot of YouTube videos, or better yet, call a licensed roofer. Come and sl slide this one off, put a brand new one back on, reapply mastic, and you just saved your roof another 10 years. House has decided whether or not you're going to have gutters. How the roof is installed takes into account the roof reveal that you want to have. With larger gutters or with gutters, you want to have a little bit more of a reveal. Less gutter, you want to have a little bit less. So in this case, we have about a knuckle and a half or about an inch and a half. The reason this is we check this or we look at it is it's important. You ever had a drink of water or a, a glass where you're starting to pour the water out of the glass and it comes out the lip and it runs down the edge and all of a sudden if it if you didn't have it to your lips it's dribbling down the front of your shirt the same thing happens here on a roof as the water comes down the friction holds on to it and it'll run back towards your your uh, wood roofing 
water comes in contact with organic material and suddenly we have wood rot or mold or something of that nature. But in this case, with only a short revealed and that angle is pretty steep, the water has to drip off and into your gutters. Bye! See ya!